Hey good people, hoping you're doing well well, and following your bliss because that is all that we are about on this channel. This channel we like to encourage each other, inspire each other and just hold each other's hands as we go through life. Because you know, life is not easy but we have to live it the best way that we can possibly do. And what better way to do that other than to follow your bliss. So welcome to yet another episode and in today's video we're going to be talking about rejection. Uh, I believe everyone has experienced rejection in one way or another, be it at the workplace or for a job application or for a scholarship or by a parent, a friend, a spouse, a boyfriend, a friend, you know, name it. I believe in one way or another we have all felt rejected, whether it is at the workplace or you know you've submitted your application for a job somewhere and then you don't get to and then you don't get the job or you receive a regret notice you know saying oh sorry dear so and so sorry we were not able to consider you blah 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 it makes you feel really really bad i believe we have all felt rejected at some point and i know it's not a good feeling the feeling of rejection can be really really depressing and saddening because it makes you feel like you're not enough it makes you feel uh, less of yourself it makes you you know question whether you're good enough it makes you feel that you're not worth it it makes you feel useless for lack of a better word let's just say it makes you feel useless the feeling is not funny the feeling of rejection is not funny at all it can make you feel useless it makes you feel like you're not worth it it makes you feel like you're not good enough it makes you doubt yourself it makes you even doubt god sometimes it makes you feel like you don't belong it makes yes that is how bad rejection can get but in today's video, I just want to encourage every one of you that no matter how many times you feel rejected or how you feel rejected, please remember that there will always be one person who cares for you. The Bible tells us that whether your mother or father abandons you or forsakes you, I will always hold your hand. That is God's promise to us in his word. So I encourage you that no matter how many times you feel rejected, just remember that there will always be that one person who will not reject you no matter what and that is god the lord tells us in his word that even though your father and mother abandon you or forsake you i will always hold your hand so you see the lord has already promised you that he will never leave you he'll never leave you he'll never forsake you so you can be sure that you're not going to face rejection from the lord even if i know that there are times when you just feel so overwhelmed you feel like the whole world is against you and you feel that even the Lord has forgotten about you. Personally, there are times when uh, certain circumstances overwhelm me and I find myself, you know, just saying, please God, remember me. Like, God, have you forgotten me? Every time I remember his promise where he tells me that even if my mother or father forsakes me, he will never forsake me. Just imagine what a beautiful promise the Lord gives us. So no matter how many times you face rejection, remember the Lord will always be there for you. He's going to hold your hand through it all. He cares about you and he has never forgotten you. There are times when you meet people and they just don't like you. They don't even know you like that. They don't know you so well, but then you find them just rejecting you. Like they don't like you or they don't feel you. And then you ask yourself, but why doesn't this person like me? You know, I'm a good person. You know, within you, you're having this conversation with yourself. You're like, no, I'm a good person. Why doesn't this person, you know, like me? But they just don't like you. And then, you know, you find yourself feeling, uh, you know, you feel lost. You feel rejected. You feel unwanted. You feel worthless. You feel useless. You just feel out of place. Personally, I always believe that some people tend to show you this feeling of dislike simply because they're trying to project their insecurities on you. I believe that some people, because they are insecure about certain aspects of their lives, they tend to project those insecurities by not liking other people. So you have to tell yourself sometimes that it's not about me, it's about them, right? It's not me who has the problem, they are the ones that have the problem because you've done them no wrong. You're trying your best, you're nice to them, but they just don't like you. It means they have a problem and they are trying to project the problem or the insecurity that they have on you. 
So tell yourself it is well, you've tried your best, you've done your part. If they don't like you, I mean, it is okay. And by the way, did you people know that not everybody has to like you? I think that is where as human beings we get it wrong. Sometimes we think that everybody has to like us. That's not going to happen. Not everybody is going to like you. Just reflect upon the fact that even Christ Jesus was hated. So if Jesus was hated, if hated, who are you? People are going to hate you. And the Bible tells us that we should remember that every time we feel rejected or hated by the people around us or by the world, we should remember that Jesus was hated first. So imagine if Jesus was hated first. Who are you? <laughs> who are you? What a beautiful consolation, really. So for me, sometimes, you know, when I feel that maybe somebody doesn't like me or I feel, you know, negative vibes that somebody is throwing my way, I just tell myself that, you know what, Joy, I'm not going to, I'm not in position to control how this person feels about me. And I'm like, if the Lord was hated by people, who am I? I am just a humble servant of the Lord. Always tell yourself that people don't have to always, you know, like you. And don't forget, some people project their insecurities on you. So for me, I believe that um, sometimes when you're rejected or hated by the people around you, the Lord is actually protecting you from something. So I believe that rejection is often for the better. Now also, sometimes when you know, you're looking forward to you know, meeting somebody, meeting your Mr. Right, settling down, and you find everybody around you is getting married, everybody around you is settling down, and then you start doubting yourself and you're like, what's wrong with me? Why is nobody approaching me? Am I not beautiful enough? Am I not good enough? I remember not too long ago, I was having a conversation with this friend of mine. And, you know, she starts asking me, Joy, am I really pretty? I said, yes, you're a very pretty girl. She said, are you sure? I said, yes. And I was like, why would you ask me? I, you know, I got curious, you know, to know why she was asking me whether she's beautiful enough, whether she's good enough. Because she actually is a very beautiful girl, right? So when I got to the bottom of it, she told me, so if I'm beautiful enough, if I'm good enough, then why is nobody approaching me? And my answer was really, it's not yet God's timing for you because everybody has a season. Because the Bible says that there's time for everything. So that means everybody has a season. So, so if nobody has approached you yet, uh, you know, like proposing marriage, that means it's not yet your season. So at the time that we experienced the rejection, definitely we feel so bad. You know, it's, uh, we feel depressed, we're so sad, we are crying, you're questioning um, whether you're good enough, whether you, you know, the Lord is, uh, loves you enough, whether you're, you know, beautiful enough, all those uh, kind of questions. But I will always tell myself that, you know, protection, projection. The Lord is protecting me from uh, certain people, from certain spaces from certain social circles and that is why those people maybe do not like me or, or the people that are rejecting me or are hating me are projecting their insecurities on me. Maybe they actually admire you. Have you ever thought about that? What if you thought that, okay, this person doesn't like me. Maybe they admire something about me. Maybe they would like to be like me. So another really annoying thing is, you know those people that you meet and then they start leading you on, like they start letting you into their lives and then you become comfortable, you get accustomed to them, you get used to having them in your life and, and then suddenly they just, you know, uh, start to distance themselves from you. That I know even feels worse. It feels really, really bad. I know it is sad. It's easier said than done. Uh, right now it's easy you know uh, for me to say uh, maybe god is protecting you maybe uh, you know uh, those who are hating you are you know are projecting their negative feelings or their insecurities on you but always remember the lord loves you and for me i think that is the most important thing that's the most critical thing here so no matter what it is no matter how many times you feel rejected just remember the lord loves you and he promises that he'll never forsake you he'll never abandon you even if your brother or mother or father or sister rejects you the lord's love unconditional love is guaranteed i think that is the most critical for us and also remember a prophet was not honored even in his own home so um, rejection, we will experience it on a day-to-day -day life. 
if you don't uh, you know uh, read the word of god that promises you all the beautiful things that there is in the in the in the world then you get to actually doubt yourself and actually believe that uh, the way you feel all those questions that you have you will actually find yourself believing that you're not good enough you will feel that you're not beautiful enough you you'll find that you know um, you just doubt yourself you feel that you're not worth it so uh, today I just want to encourage you my brother my sister never doubt yourself never doubt God hmm? God is faithful trust me uh, his promises are yes and amen and never think that you're not good enough because you are the best version of yourself that there is the Lord is faithful he loves you the most and I think that's the most important thing I know guys let's learn to embrace ourselves because we are good enough we are beautiful enough we are intelligent enough let nobody make you feel less of who you are you are beautiful you are wonderful you are amazing you're a star hmm? you are all those beautiful things never feel nothing less also don't forget these two things if there are two things that i want you to you know carry away uh, from this video it is the fact that rejection could be somebody trying to you know um project their insecurities on you that is projection or the lord is actually trying to protect you from something don't forget that other than that thank you so much for watching if you haven't yet liked this video please give this video a like share comment and subscribe join the family we are on the road to 500 subscribers don't forget to follow your bliss because life is short god bless you